excited. Today's the day we've finally been waiting for for over a year. That's right. We're going on the Fam Alley. Yep, we're going on the Fam Alley cruise out of Galveston, Texas, and we're going to be gone for seven days, and it's a Western Caribbean cruise. That's right. We're going on the Allure of the Seas. This will be our first time going out of Galveston, and we're gonna we have 47 staterooms full of our beers. This is gonna be shenanigans. Should be a great video. Yeah, we're really excited. So today's day one. There's our cruise ship, and we gotta drop our luggage off. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> to our room and we're on the fam alley cruise for alliance a little magnet they gave us let's go do a tour all right so this is our room don't blink you'll miss it <laughs> you go in the bathroom is to the right we'll get that on the way out on our left we've got martha's makeup vanity or it might be mine you don't know couch king size bed two end tables art on the wall with a little bit of a light Got a TV and we were able to reserve a fan. So if you didn't know, you can reserve a fan. So they have a folder for us when you open it up. This is how we can order breakfast for free sent to the room. All right, let's show you where the magic happens. Come on. The bathroom, woo! You know, there's very few times in life that I'll say that our RV bathroom is spacious, but compared to this, let's see if I can fit. What up y'all? Well, we got a porcelain toilet and it's not foot flush. Yikes. <laughs> Here, honey. Let's see. Let's see if the 6-2 test will work. All right. Looks like you fit. Uh, yeah, I do fit. So that'll be okay. So what do you guys think of our cabin? That was it. So we went with the interior cabin on purpose because we figure we're here with our family and we're not going to be in our room as much. We'll sleep later and then just go out and have fun. <laughs> Day one was an absolute blast. We got to meet all of our allies on the ship and explore. <laughs> yeah, and my God, when she says explore, we aren't playing. This sun gun was big. 13,000 steps on day one, and we didn't see the whole boat. Where we're standing right now, we didn't see yesterday. Yeah, this is the sun deck on deck, what are we, 14? 14, we're, yeah. on the, we're on the bow of the ship on the port side on deck 14. Yeah, For you guys that don't know what that means, I'm on the front left. <laughs> Front driver's side. That's right, we're on yeah. the driver's side. <laughs> Actually, we're on the back driver's side. No, this is the front. That's this the front, is the front of the boat. Oh. She's going to argue with me, y'all. I'm turned around. It is so big here. We're all that exploring. There you go. <laughs> what we found that we like is you can tell it's, it's super quiet out here. This is the middle of the day. It's just after 2 o'clock. And this boat is so stinking big that you really have the option mm -hmm. to do what you want to do. Like, if you're into the party crowd, they're doing the sexiest man contest, and we just saw some dude lap dancing the lady. Yeah, I told Chris he can't enter it. Be, it wouldn't be fair because he would win. I might win the fat guy belly flop contest. I got no. I got a hang on that one. <laughs> but if, if, if you're not into the party crowd, that isn't your thing. They've got an over 18 area, which is a sun deck, and it is yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, no kids allowed in there. We went to a comedy show last night. That was Hilarious. fun. Hilarious. Yes. Hilarious. Yeah, there's two Tonight, different comedians. we're going Mamma Mia? I think so. We'll have to check our app. For the people that are safety conscious, they do have a helo pad on the front of this boat. This puts in perspective how big this ship is because that helo pad or helipad is sticking out the front. This is massive. And this is our view. If you want to get away from everything, go on a cruise. Yeah, the food's good. The restaurant was really nice. It's elegant. And it's included, so it didn't cost us anything. Yeah wide variety of different types of food yep if you want to eat nasty and bad you can yeah if you want to eat healthy you can if you want ice cream 24 hours a day seven days you can yep 
whatever the fling you want on this boat, you can pretty much get. You want pizza at 2 a.m. with the soft serve ice cream? No problem. <laughs> so full disclosure, we paid for this cruise. It is not sponsored, but it's really nice. I mean, the customer service on a cruise is exceptional. Yeah. And we've been on three different uh, brands cruise of lands. cruise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one's Royal. Uh, we've been on... Um, Carnival, Thank you. Royal, and Princess. Today is day two on the cruise and we're at sea and we're wearing matchy shirts. Matchy shirts, Alliance <laughs> shirts. Yeah. So we wanted to talk to you about why we think RVers make the best cruisers. Yes. Ooh, that's a little bold, <laughs> isn't it? It is. So tell them, what do you think is the number one reason it, RVers are such good cruisers? Well, first of all, we're used to living in smaller spaces, so the cabins aren't that big. Uh, and they're not that small. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. Let's turn and try not to get ran over here. So yeah, it's confined spaces. What do you think about the bathroom? I mean, that's way smaller than we're accustomed to. The bathroom in our cabin is so much smaller than our RV bathroom, so yeah, but we're making do. It is a one person bathroom. Right, and I think the biggest thing that uh, really helps RVers be successful on cruises is our ability to adapt. Here, we're gonna flip around here. Yeah. So I think it's our ability to adapt to the situation and just make the best out of anything that pops up. Yeah, um, we have a daily schedule and we can pick and choose what we want to do, which is fun. And with the allies, we do have stuff planned throughout yeah. the week. Today is picture day. That's why we're matching. <laughs> and let's be real, RVers are adventurous by nature, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you wouldn't jump in an RV, drive all over the country and explore if you didn't inherently like adventure. Yeah, no, I agree 100%. So we're really excited. We have three stops and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it is. We're gonna show you the get together. We got a picture at four o'clock. Um, I know later in the week, we've got an ice cream social coming up. Mm -hmm. And we've been eating dinner with everybody, which yeah, is cool. and breakfast and any chance we get, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to have RV community on a cruise ship. Yeah, it, it's a different approach than we've taken historically. And we wanted mm -hmm. to just show, you know, it's, yes, we're all about RV life, but RV life can transform into any kind of adventure. Yeah, and that's what we love about the RV community. It doesn't, you can just go outside your RV and go on all these adventures together. That's a beauty. I know, 80 people that, uh, if it weren't for one brand, Alliance RV, we wouldn't even know each other. And here we are on a cruise in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. It's pretty wild. Yeah, it is. And we are having a blast. Absolutely. And we are on the allure of the seas from Royal Caribbean. And we have been told multiple times, we're very proud of this. This is the world's biggest cruise ship. Ooh, and it is big. Oh, it's a monster. We're, get, we're definitely getting our steps in too. <laughs> you know, the part that I think will be interesting is some of the allies that are here with us, they're first time cruisers. Talk mm -hmm. about screwing yourself over. <laughs> I know, going on the biggest cruise ship and then anything other than that is gonna feel so much smaller. Our first cruise ship was tiny. It was mm -hmm. like a 30 year old. Um, and it was a Carnival Carnival uh, miracle. miracle. It was mm -hmm. a tiny ship compared to this. I mean, you could probably put that thing on the back deck as a dinghy. Yeah, but it's also about the excursions, the people you're with, whether you're with, you know, your spouse or significant other friends. Um, right. Yeah. So, yep. And you'll see as the week goes on, we have some excursions planned and we will take you along the best we can. They will not let us bring selfie sticks and things of that nature. So, you know, you might get a little bit of rough at it, but. Yeah, and you'll get a little insight of what it was like to be on a fam alley cruise is what we're calling it. Absolutely. A park. Yes. Central Park on Allure of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful Central Park, not New York. No. So day three on the cruise, what happened? Uh, day three was a full day of sailing. So we did a lot of shows. We hung out with our fam alley, our RV community. I scared the living doo-doo out of myself. He did, and I caught it on film. So I'm gonna splash it up right now. Yeah, so about three quarters of the way up this beautiful rock wall, I looked down. That's a stupid thing to do when you're 16 stories up on the cruise ship and then you're whatever up on the rock wall. Yeah, with the boat just kind of going with the flow. That's right. But, but I'm proud to say Chris rang the bell. That's right, because I ain't no quitter. <laughs> I'm either going to succeed or I'm going to die, but I ain't giving up. No, I'm so proud of him. And he also got to do zip lining. I didn't feel like zip lining. I didn't feel like going on the rock wall thing, but I the zip lines, bah. It's short. You're nine stories up. You're going over a hole, but it's like a hundred yards. Whoop-de-doo! Yeah. 
And later on that night, with some of our fan family, we got to watch Oceana. That was an amazing show. Yeah, it's like acrobat, circus, diver. Some cheer kind of moves in there. Stuff that we've seen our daughter do in cheerleading. And high divers, scuba yeah. divers. It was amazing. Huge, huge amount of talent in those folks. Absolutely. Yep, that was cool. So then day three was done after mm -hmm. hanging out and day four. Day four was our first stop at a port and that was Rotan Honduras. And how did that day go, Chris? Wet. <laughs> and muddy. It was. It rained so hard. It was coming down sideways. They canceled like 90% of our excursions. Ours was one of the last ones to get canceled, so we yep. thought we'd go down to the port about an hour early. Yep. How'd that go? That went like a movie. That's the only way I can explain this. We walk out to the gangway door. The wind is coming at a 45, shooting sideways, with the rain just gushing yeah. and a wet floor sign is just sliding down the dock by itself it and, was that stinking windy and i wish we would have caught it on film but the but oh gosh it was still up in that triangle and it was just gliding across it was hovering and you know wow. what it was sponsored by starbucks because we went and got mochas <laughs> <laughs> yeah we went and hung out with fam alley the cruise was amazing the cruise ship folks they put on extra shows there was a lot more different things yeah. to do and they entertained the us all day. The only thing that was a winner for us is we've actually been to Roatan, Honduras mm -hmm. before. We got to do zip lining and monkeys and sloths and all kinds yes. of cool stuff. So it sucks we need to go this time, but we made the best of it, which is exactly what you do, right? You enjoy yeah. every moment. Yeah, and hanging out with our RV community, there's about 80 of us. So we don't have like schedule, two scheduled things. Yeah, that's about it. And then, but we get to see them all throughout the week. And that's just been a blessing to hang out with them and get to know them more on a deeper a level. A very personal level. Yeah. It's been awesome, awesome. Yeah, so today is day five out of our seven day cruise. Today we are in Costa Maya, Mexico. Yeah. And we did get to go on shore. As you can tell behind us, it's nice out. It is. And let me show you what I got. Mama spent money. So this is awesome. I like it a lot. Head down, show them the goodies. I got a new fancy hat and I love it. Yes, it is gorgeous. So I'll give you a pro tip for traveling. Anytime you go to any of these ports when you're cruising, don't ever pay retail. One vendor wanted $51, another one wanted 40, another one wanted 30. What'd you negotiate? $25. That's right. So don't pay retail, you get hosed, y'all. What Chris and I did, we walked around, we did a lot of shopping, mostly window shopping, because we want, we didn't want to buy like the first thing we saw. Right. So what we did, we went through all the shops all around town, and then we came back and found what we wanted to buy. And we spent a total of $55. Yep. Hat, and shirt, yep, magnet. I, I got an awesome shirt, which you'll see. And then, like I said, her beautiful hat, and then we got a Costa Maya magnet. Now, if we wouldn't have shopped around and, and negotiated, because we did, we played hardball with them, mm -hmm. we would have paid 50 bucks for the hat. And yeah. I got the hat, shirt, and magnet for 50. So we did good. Yeah, and we did something together that we've never, ever, ever done before. Yep, I got my feet worked on at a fish spa. Wait. Yeah, what she said. Wait. <laughs> We. So we got eaten by piranhas. All right, guys, got to apologize for the audio quality. We left our mics, and it is super loud out of here at Costa Maya. Yeah, so we're getting little fish taking the dead skin off of our feet and the tickles. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like a little fish massage, except it's eating dead skin off your feet. You ever go to Costa Maya? What the hell? Do it. It's 20 bucks. Yeah, why not? Feed the fish. It's for the babies. <laughs> Yes, I've never had a petty. I've never had a manny or a petty, to be real with you. I have, but not by fish. And that was definitely a different experience. It tickled, and then it felt like little vibrations. Uh, apparently, I have nice feet now. The little critters ate all the dead skin off my feet. It's so nice and soft and smooth feet. Nobody <laughs> likes feet. Feet are gross. No, it was nice and relaxing because where they had it, it was like in a nice, cool location. You got to sit and relax. And it, it, was it was an fun. interesting experience worth yeah. 20 bucks. You ever get a chance to have piranhas nibble on your feet? What the hell? Go for it. Yeah. That's what vacation's all about. Do something different. <laughs> so tonight we have a couple more shows. Mm -hmm. Dinner with some fam alley. Yep. And I think that's about it. Yeah, so the cool part in the main dining is we get to sit and eat with the same two couples all week. Which we, we actually like. They're really like, nice people. And we know them. 
So it's great, like we don't really see them throughout the day as much, but at the end of the night at dinner, we all talk about our experience of what we did during the day, what our plans are for tomorrow, right. and it's just a lot of fun. It is. We are all about community. We tell you that, we preach it, we live it. We're on a friggin' ship with 80 of our closest RV community. This is what it's about, relationships, yes. going out, meeting people, experiencing things, having fun. Mm -hmm. That's what we're all about. That's what Venturesome Couple is. It is, absolutely. What was our favorite show of the night? Our favorite show of the night last night was the Las Vegas Tenors. Yep, and it was in opera, which is what everybody thinks when you hear tenors. This was rock, country. Yeah, and it was like music from like even 100 years ago blended in with modern music. It was a little bit of everything, and that's what we loved about it. We loved the variety of music that these three gentlemen yep. sang. It don't mean nothing if it ain't got that swing some classic R&B, and the very last song was an opera piece. These three gentlemen, in freaking incredible. I can see why they have a show in Vegas. Absolutely, and when we go to Vegas, we definitely want to go see them. Yep. So if you're wondering who they are, check them out on Facebook or Instagram, Las Vegas Tenors. I'll recommend them, and no, we're not sponsored. They're just that damn good. And we are having a blast. We're so glad today has been such a beautiful, sunny day. And tomorrow, Cozumel. Yes, and we have a fun excursion planned. The weather's supposed to be perfect. I'll give you a perfect. hint. Flipper. And us, VIP. Mama. Got to get that pinky up, y'all. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. is protected for future generations. We had a great time. The yeah. Fam Alley cruise was amazing. Alliance even had, uh, hooked us up with an ice cream social. Yes. Thank you, Alliance RV. We forgot to talk about, we got to swim with dolphins in Cozumel. I got drug around by Flipper. <laughs> we had the sweetest little girl dolphin, and then we got to uh, pet manatees. Yeah, they're the sea cows. Yeah, they're kind of lazy. They, they are. They said he was lazy. He was a lazy. But, and he was also a baby. Right. So like, He was lazy. He was about a thousand pounds. A thousand Be pounds. Beautiful, though. Beautiful. But we recommend, if you do cruise... Go with the ship excursion because when we went That's... to Broaton, it rained out and our excursion got canceled and we got a full refund. Yeah. The other thing, the the benefit of going through the, the cruise ship, in our opinion, yes, it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. Like you can go through uh, Trivago or TripAdvisor or there's so many different things out there. But the going through the cruise ship, you're protected. Yeah. They only partner with people that are going to make sure you're safe yeah they're also going to refund you if something goes sideways they'll make yeah. sure you're back on the boat on time which i mean we've got some video we'll insert right here <laughs> where people are running down the dock with two minutes to go yes and almost missed their boat yeah a whole family that was crazy and they don't play y'all if no. you're late 
I mean, the ship goes. I mean, they tell you what time, and they tell you make sure you check your time zone and ship time before you leave. I never felt unsafe. I truly didn't. I didn't either. I mean, of course, I was with you. (laughs) Yeah. No, we had a great time. The excursion was great. The food was great. The dolphin experience. Mm -hmm. We recommend the excursions. Go have fun. That's the whole point. of For us, when we go on cruises, we look at the cruise ship as the opportunity to travel to a destination. Mm -hmm. This is our mode of transportation. I want to get somewhere and see something and do something different. I have never swam with dolphins. I've never petted a manatee, nor had Martha, so now we have. Yes, and I would do it again. Oh, yeah. Dolphins were awesome. <laughs> Getting pulled by those things. Man, you talk about horsepower or I dolphin say, power. You should have seen Chris's face when I was like, I'm going to go swim with the dolphins. And he's like, yeah, of course you sure do. Sure you do. Of course you do. I will give you a little hint about our next cruise, though. We have already booked a coffee plantation that also roasts their own coffee. So wherever we're going in the world, we are going to go see where coffee's grown, mm-hmm. how it's roasted, and we're going to taste it fresh. And I'm probably going to buy a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. How much can I bring? Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't a negative experience. We just got to always be real with you. So most importantly, give us a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Like and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And if life gives you lemonades, have a margarita and enjoy every moment.